So to kick off tonight, I'm going to be welcoming. She is a Lego practitioner in UK. A very sound woman. A very good evangelist. Veronica Ikechi, e. to many subjects. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't hear many responses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a privilege. I, I would just like to um, say thank you to Apostle Albert and Apostle Chimwe. Thank you for the privilege of um, endorsing me every time and even for stretching me in prayers. Sometimes I'm up waiting for that 12, noon, 12 midnight so we can do battle. So thank you. It's, um, it's energized our lives. In fact, weekends, I'm like, why isn't it on? Because, you know, <laughs> we need to go. But we thank God for that. So I, I also want to say hello. Thank God for all the great men and women on the line. Um, the Lord bless you. And I'm very expectant um, tonight um, by the grace of God. Um, Pastor Rachel, you're a worship leader. Could you help me sing this song? It's very much key to what I'm going to be singing. I'm doing tonight. Um, it's called, um, it goes, um, it is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Can we all sing that if you know, please? So please leave it. Please. For you. You, you pray, pray for me. me. I love you. I need, I need you, you to survive. survive. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love, I love you. you. I, I need, need you, you to survive. And it is with I've been asked to um, speak briefly about women being kind. Women being kind, um, being other people centered women being kind and it, it's it's a tall order women being kind because we know as women we have so many <laughs> different compartments <laughs> 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 Please, can we all mute ourselves yeah. so that we I can hear the yeah, speaker god bless you all thank you amen <laughs> Yeah, so women being kind, being people-centered rather than me-centered, rather than my, my needs-centered, rather than my ministry-centered. Um, it's about how we can maximize our uh, love relationships with other women. But first of all, we're told in 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 8, I'm not going to read it. It just tells us that love is kind. So women being kind means that we are love. We walk in love. Love is patient. Love is kind. So in order for us to be kind, love should be the essence of our expression. You're mute, ma. Yeah, I'm mute. I can't hear you. You're mute now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what I was saying was that um, we're told in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8, that love, apart from patient, love is kind. So as spirit-filled believers, love is the essence of who we are because it's one of the garments that we're supposed to put on. So being women that are kind is basically repeating who we are. So what does that, how does that kindness translate? Since we're supposed to walk in the essence of kindness as those that are in love, imbued by the love of Christ, how then do you find women not exhibiting kindness to one another? What is that about? Think about our individual lives. 
think about the people that you transact with, the people that you call your support networks. How were you able to select them? What is your criteria for selecting them? The reason why a lot of people find it very difficult to reach out across the pond to another person is simply because they have not perfected that love walk. It's important for every single one of us to first of all, accept our identity, it's been given to us. We are who? Royal priesthoods. We are what? A chosen, we have been chosen, each and everyone on this line, we have been chosen by Christ. We have been drawn and, and engrafted into the fellowship of the brethren. So therefore, you are my brother, you are my sister. If you know how you look after your biological siblings, the spiritual siblings, your spiritual sister should be in the same vein. Now, think about your relationships. Think about how you deal with people at work, on the streets, anywhere. How do you transact with your sister? You don't have to say, this person is mine because I get X, Y, Z. That is the way of the world. It's called transactional relationship, what you can get out of them. It is about the essence of who we are, just opening up ourselves and reaching out to another man, reaching out to another woman in order to make a difference in their lives, in order to show kindness. Ephesians 6 it says, what you make happen for others, God makes happen for you. Why, why do we fail in kindness? Why are we lacking in that? You know, I think it's poor Christianity if you're only kind to people that are kind to you, you're only kind to people that you get things from. You're only kind to people that are, you find, people talk about, oh, you don't sew up, down, you sew up. That is ridiculous. Christ didn't show, didn't emanate that. He, he was the essence of love. So if we want to be able to reach out and walk in this kindness as women, with one another, with your fellow sister, as a sister's keeper, you have to walk as Christ walked. What is that? He was in total communion with himself. There was no need to crank up anything. He was very secure in who he was. So that's why, because he's secure in who he was, he's able to be happy for somebody else on their day of joy, for somebody else in their celebration, for somebody else to truly want. Christ died for us. You might be saying to me, well, you know, he died for the church. I don't need to die for the church anymore. But we are asked to be as Christ. We are asked to be like him. So in our relationships with one another, how indeed are we modeling Christ? How are we modeling Christ? Do we, who are the people that we are around us? Are they people that look like us? Are they people that we can get things from? How about that prostitute across the road? That's a woman like you and I. How about that person, that crackhead? in some sort of red light district, that's a woman like you and I. It's about reaching out to the unloved. It's about reaching out and not, you know, it's very, you know, sometimes we get very prescriptive in our relationships. People are like us, people behave like us. That to me is base level relationship. The relationship that empowers the relationship that stretches the relationship that grows the relationship that god is asking us as ministers as people in christ as mature women is to seek out those that are totally lost not just spiritually lost but those that are lost befriend a, a child uh, that's thrown out of her home because she's been pregnant befriend somebody who is homeless take the risks build them up why is it we're unable to take risks you know what because you being friends with me is to me is, is no longer a big deal it's nothing to god why should you he says that if you're good to those that are good to you what how are you different to anybody else mm -hmm. what, i was behave i was the, the what i got today was we need to be intentional about the relationships we form, not just so that 
We, I can go to your church and preach. You can come to my church and preach. We, I can be in your stage and look good. No, the Lord is not interested in any of those things. Who is that woman that you reached out to when she was about to commit suicide? Mm -hmm. Who was that woman that you went to when she was about to inject herself with hope? Who was that person? They are all around us. That woman that's about to give up in her marriage, that woman that they're all around us. The, the problem is many people are lonely, even inside Christendom. Why? Because we're busy having shallow with consumerist relationships. Shallow consumerist relationships. You only call when you need something. You only call mm -hmm. when I can be of use to you. That's not relationship. That's leeching, leecherism. You're a leech. Mm -hmm. The Lord doesn't honor any of those sort of relationships. Mm -hmm. He wants us to walk in higher power, in higher dimensions of relationship mm -hmm. of who he's called us to be in this season. And I thank goodness that we have been able to sit in our homes and do some self audit. There mm -hmm. should be people in your repertoire that are not just horizontal and vertical in terms of ministry, in terms of career, in terms of posturing and positioning. No, there should be people that say thank god for that woman because had she not built me up i would still be here thank god for that woman has she not fed my children had she not helped me out there should be people in her and these people should be people that are not even able to give you one penny these people are people that are able you need to stretch out lengthen your cords of relationship lengthen mm -hmm. your cords of access lengthen it Come down from that pedestal of, I am this, I am that. Come down. Because underneath it all, we are the same people. Mm -hmm. It's just that you got lucky. You got fortunate. Mm -hmm. And you came into Christ quickly. But the Lord is asking us in this season, open your eyes and look further than your household. Further, can I challenge you, than your community. Further than a socioeconomic group, further than what's comfortable. Because what has shackled Christianity is comfortability. Mm -hmm. What the Lord is saying to us today in our relationships, we need to support. We'd be a support network, both inside and outside. People will be saying, thank goodness for that woman. And you know what? You may not even need to give a tract. Why? Because the Bible, that is your behavior, has worked as a tract do you see what i mean many of us are looking for ways in which to reach to the lost and we talk about two bibles yes the one that we read but the one that reads us in our character today the challenge is lengthen your cords if you truly know your identity reach forth to the people that have no voice reach forth to the child that's hungry reach forth to the crackhead that doesn't know how they're going to come out of rehab, reach forth. Those are the relationships that God is interested in building, as well as obviously the ones that you need because you need to build. Before you can build anybody else, you need to build yourself up too. So that you can, therefore, once you're built up and strengthened, you can then strengthen others. So yes, you need to have the verticals, you need to have the horizontals. However, it's just like when we come to church, we come to church for top up like the phone. And then we disappear into the mission field to do the work. Today, in terms of women being kind, cross the pond of color, cross the pond of economics, cross the pond of what is familiar, of what is comfortable, and reach out to somebody who you would not ordinarily reach out to. Let your home be an epicenter of revival because you have brought in the homeless the people that's how we came into the gospel mm -hmm. reach out to them build them up by the time you've built them up with the word and all that you know with the spiritual and the physical you've built up a nation because that's what every single woman represents she's able to go forth and launch herself and so on and so forth so today, rather than, yes, you know, we, we're, one, we're here to support, uh, you know, um, Ruth and Naomi, um, you know, it is important, but it's for a purpose. It's for us to get out. 
and bring those people in. For Christ has need of them. Praise the Lord. Thank you.